Hello everyone, my name is War, I'm a game developer, and I thought of doing a little tutorial on how to achieve a neon effect on a sprite. It's a very quick and easy uh, way to achieve a, a good looking effect. I use this effect a lot, if you've seen my other videos, I mostly use them on hit frames for creatures and characters, but this effect can be used on a variety of places. So, what you want to do first is have your color palette ready. Here I'm using a modified version of the AAP64 color palette. And you will want to get your drawing that you want to make glow. Here we'll have a simple dark blue circle. And you will create a new layer and you will create a second new layer. The first layer you created, you can rename it to Flash or Glow. And the second layer, you can leave it as is, as we'll delete it uh, after. So, now you will select your base drawing. You can do so by holding Ctrl and clicking on the frame. Or you can just go to the frame itself, go into Magic Wand and click on top of it. You will want to go to the unnamed layer. And you most likely want to grab a lighter version of the overall color of uh, your base drawing. So if your drawing has a lot of uh, greens and such, you can grab a lighter green. But in our case, it's blue, so I'll grab a very light blue, the lightest blue I have. It's a little bit green, but let's just say it's blue. And now you want to select the drawing again and go to the flash layer and go two tones below what you got for uh, the unnamed layer. So I got this one, I'll go one, two this one and I'll fill that in you can see right here the three layers now you want to select the flash layer go into edit effects convolution matrix you can uh, get to it by just pressing F9 as well and you can see here you have this blur option you have a 3x3, 5x5, 7x7, 9x9, or 17x17. 17 17. I prefer using 17x17, 17 17, but it depends on the resolution of your overall drawing. But you can clearly see that the effect already works, and you can just press OK when you find what you like best of the, of the blurs. You can just press OK to apply it. And you can see the effect glowing, uh, working. I prefer having a not so bright color as the top layer, but if you really want that that crispy neon effect, you can just change it to white, and that will make it much more brighter. But I prefer having a little uh, more dark color. Now, what you want to do to finish is you get the unnamed layer, right click it and merge down. And now you have the neon effect uh, all in one layer. You can activate or deactivate it at will. So I hope this helps. May you use it on your games or just your drawings. And have a great day.